have you guys seen everything that Harley Davidson is doing for 2023? Even more so than ever, I am convinced Harley Davidson can't do anything right. Hey everyone, this is Ty. Welcome back to the channel. I appreciate you joining me today. So I'm sure by now you have seen all that Harley has in store so far for the 2023 lineup. And I really don't want to get into the specifics. That's probably been beat to death at this point. And quite honestly, just about every YouTuber out there has covered it in some form or fashion, including myself. So, but it does seem like about this time every year, every year, when Harley Davidson releases their new lineup of motorcycles, it could be apparel, accessories, whatever the case may be, everyone comes out of the woodwork and starts complaining about Harley Davidson. Now the strange thing about all of this to me is this, it's not just motorcyclists that complain about what Harley Davidson does, it is Harley Davidson riders who are constantly criticizing and critiquing Harley Davidson. I mean, I hear it all the time, and I do. I watch a lot of YouTube videos and a lot of YouTubers out there, and that's why I'm saying that I don't think Harley Davidson can, can, Harley -Davidson can do anything right to please the majority of people out there because everyone is belly aching about what Harley does and it doesn't matter what they do. And you've probably heard a lot of the same complaints and things that I have. I'm most certain you have. You know, a lot of people, uh, one of the major things I heard is, oh, I wish Harley would implement some new technology. I wish they would do this, do that. They've done the same thing forever. And then Harley did just that. They came out with some great motorcycles. First of all, they they introduced the uh, Revolution, Revolution Max engine, and then the, the Pan Am, and the Sportster S, which I owned a Sportster S. It was, it was a great motorcycle. And uh, they changed, they made this motorcycle, the Lowrider ST, which was a big, big hit. And you know, it seems like it just doesn't matter what Harley Davidson does, they can't win. You know what they also did? They also implemented the live wire. Now the live wire was a flop, okay? I'll give you that. The live wire was a flop. Um, you know, they didn't really sell. A lot of people just weren't impressed. But here goes Harley really pushing the envelope with technology and what can we do? What can we do different? What can we do to, to push this company forward? And, you know, they might have failed. You could say they failed with the live wire. But do you know what the great thing is about that? If you always succeed, are you really even learning anything? So failure drives us to higher stats of greatness, let's just say. And uh, I think it's good. I do like what Harley Davidson is doing. I don't think every single year can be, you know, just a grand slam home run for new ideas and new products. I wouldn't, I don't expect that out of Harley. I don't expect it out of any company that I work with. What I expect is a good, reliable product and to get value for my money and to be treated well as a customer. And so far, everything that I'm seeing, at least from my perspective, I know other people see it differently and that's cool, that's no problem, but I am seeing that Harley is meeting those requirements when it comes to my expectations. You know, speaking of expectations, what did you guys, what were you guys expecting with the new 2023 lineup? Specifically, I'm talking about the 120th anniversary models. Yes, I know what a lot of you are probably gonna say, it's just paint, there's nothing else new. Okay, great, what'd you think about the paint? Did you like it, did you not like it? Me personally, I liked it. I like it so much that I put an order in for 120th anniversary Road Glide Special. So I'm hoping sometime in March, that is gonna be introduced to the channel. That'll be fun, so stay tuned for that. So as I'm riding along here, I'm just trying to brainstorm and think of something. So I was just trying to think of something, hypothetically, that Harley Davidson, Harley Davidson could change that people are not going to complain about. I gotta be honest with you. I'm not so sure there's a right answer there. I don't think Harley Davidson 
can win. I mean, it's just crazy. It really is just crazy to me. All right, guys, here's the part of the video where I need your help. I want you to light up that comment section. Just a couple of rules to go by. Number one, let's just keep it clean, all right? Let's leave out the profanity. And the second thing is no personal attacks against each other, right? Let's just talk about the topic at hand. Let's keep it on the topic. Here's what I want to know in the comments below. I would love for you guys to tell me what is it that Harley Davidson could do to satisfy you when it comes to releasing their new lineup. And when I'm talking about satisfying you, I'm not trying to be uh, rude or condescending. I'm actually asking that question as an honest question. What is something that Harley could do every single year when they released new motorcycles and new products, and you would say to yourself, ah, Harley Davidson, yes, I can get behind that. Just let me know. Well, I'll tell you what, guys, if you could do those things for me, I certainly would appreciate it very much down in the comments below. Also, please like and consider subscribing if you're not subscribed to the channel. That'd be awesome. And if you enjoy Lowrider ST content, i tell you what, I'm going to put another video up here for you to check out at your convenience. i tell you what, I really do appreciate your time today. Thank you so much. I hope you guys have an excellent day. And we'll talk to you again soon.